greatest show of all time. We have a man that in his own modest way can tell you, I don't like it. Just tell me you the truth. You like it? No! Listen to my fucking ranting. Listen to what you do to me. I don't believe you anymore. Unjustifiably in a position that I'd rather not be in. Hosted by this guy that ran with every woman that would have him from the time he was 15. You like it? Yeah. You want one? And 90,000 people watch you. In my moment of glory. Yeah, no, I'm living a nightmare. I don't trust you. Justin Draven. Wow, Mr. Sarcasm. Oh, hi, Mark. Does Kenny and the Bucks realize that they just started the beginning of the end? They are now the authority. That's why you don't let it be known that you're the one doing things behind the scenes where do you go from here now now you're the authority congratulations you turned in to what you didn't want to do you just couldn't help yourselves I mean tell me if this sounds familiar active wrestler who is in control of the company Hmm. Who's heel? Who's about to be part of a stable? You just don't fucking get it, do you? Because now what's going to happen? You're going to come on TV. You're going to start acting like heels. You're going to cut heel promos. You're going to start talking like you're all big shots. And then what? You're obviously going to start making Moxley's life hell. So that sounds a lot like the authority. I don't know what you guys are thinking. Are you just role playing the Attitude Era? I'm just wondering. All right, let's get this straight. You have four executive vice presidents, three quarters of which are now heel, and one who's going to be gone for a while because he's about to have a baby. So now you have three heel authority figures. Kind of redundant. We're going backwards, guys. We're moonwalking. We're moonwalking here. I can only imagine what Cornette's going to say. Meltzer's going to give it 25 stars. I mean, if we're going to have Cody come back and do battle with them, or be at odds with them, I can dig it. But I honestly don't think they're thinking that far ahead anymore. I think they're strictly focused on week to week. And that's what WCW did, and that's where they're going to start slipping. It had so much potential. So I didn't even watch it. I saw what happened. And I think that is the dumbest decision that they've done so far. And you can't disagree because that's ridiculous. I like how they finally let Sting talk for a change. That was pretty cool. He has a voice. At least they didn't use a voice changer like WWE did. I even like the I like what he did there, where he was cutting a promo on Jake. I like how he's telling Lance Archer that he's a main eventer. But now they got to start proving it. It 
it just wasn't good this week. Well, everyone else will say it was amazing. I liked the Tyson thing. And Brian Last was right. Sean Spears is the bump guy. He's the guy to take the bumps. Because even again, Tyson was just attacking the body. To who? Sean Spears. I feel bad for the guy now. I really do. I thought they were going to do something big with him too. And that's what I mean. They have all these big debuts and then everyone just falls off. Nothing happens. That's why you would have thought they would have at least had like a year's worth of storylines for their main guys. And then they could flip flop to nobodies. Because who cares? But nope. I'm wondering how long this pinnacle thing is going to go. Not long. And then what? Who's the authority figure to intervene if things get out of hand? Tony Khan here. He said he wasn't going to be an on-air personality. I think they're booking themselves into a corner. Like a bad child. Go get in the corner. You're in timeout. You're in timeout. Think about what you did. Because you're forcing the rest of us to think about this for the entire week and then almost have mental breakdowns because we don't believe you anymore we're in an abusive relationship with AEW you smacked us around a little bit we forgave you you looked us right in our gullible little eyes our doe eyes and said oh baby I'm sorry I'll never do it again I'll change. I'm a different man. And you blackened our eye. <laughs> we were crying. We were sad, but we still came back. And then you kicked us down the fucking stairs. And as we lay there, with our knee bent and twisted up to our shoulder, we're just looking up to the top of the flight of stairs. Looking at AEW, wondering if it was because the meatloaf was cold. That's what you're doing to us. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I got dark. It's late when I record these, like I said. You guys are lucky I, I don't sleep naturally anyway. <laughs> oh, we're in an abusive relationship with AEW. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to joke about domestic violence. If anyone you know, or you yourself, is a victim of domestic violence, call the domestic violence hotline or the police to get you out of there which is exactly what I'm going to do to AEW as soon as my leg heals from getting thrown down the stairs <laughs> I'm sorry Uh, I can just imagine Tony Khan and a wife beater all drunk and <laughs> just beating his dad up for money <laughs> to bring in more wrestlers. <laughs> uh, I probably shouldn't keep this in, but 
I'm going to because no one else would. And that's what makes me unique. And I'm sorry. I'm just tired of pretending that I'm impressed by people who look like I could give them a run for their money. I should be terrified of your heels. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. So, I think I'm going to stop watching for a while. Regain some mental stability back. And then... It'll probably be the last of my modern day wrestling reviews for now. I mean, I'm probably lying. But... Who knows? I'd like to talk about some other stuff. So stay tuned for that. But my wife hates wrestling.